Today I'm going to show how to use a annular cutter to cut some three inch diameter holes. And this is the outcome. I got six of these, they're eyelets for a crane. And then uh, here's the slugs that came out of the middle. Hi YouTube, thanks for uh, watching my video here and uh, please hit the like and subscribe if you haven't already. Um, I've got the mini mill project, the CNC home build that is still ongoing. I haven't done a whole lot lately. I did a little bit of work on the wiring. Um, same story as last time. I still got to get bearings ordered and uh, drop the dough on that. So that'll be coming yet. It has not died. Um, I had somebody offer to buy my project and I uh, said, no, thank you. I'm going to finish it. It'll just take me a little while. Today I'm going to show how to use a annular cutter to cut some three inch diameter holes in a one and three eighths inch thick structural steel, A572 steel. Um, it's a great way to do the cutting and I bought it for the job and it's turned out to be huge time saver and now I'm thinking I want to buy uh, another set of uh, annular cutters as well. So I I hope you enjoy this. Um, this is the outcome. I got six of these their eyelets for a crane uh, mount I guess and then uh, here's the slugs that came out of the middle and I got to finish these with the boring head to exact size um, but these are 40 pounds each, 10 inches wide and 12 inches that way. And it's gonna have about a three and a half inch hole in it. Thanks and enjoy watching. I've got cleaned up from cutting the holes and uh, this is the aftermath. I mean, look, I put that pan on the floor. I mean, look at this, all that oil spotted all over the floor, that's, that's just from this, it just threw a mess everywhere. Spent more time cleaning up than I did actually cutting the holes. But this is this is the annular cutter and I've I got a little cover here that I'll take off. <clears throat> I had a pump that came in my bandsaw that is uh, 110 volts and I Rigged it up with some 3 8 clear tubing. I got the supply right there. And then uh, the return is right here, going down into the bucket. And the uh, bucket has a little metal screen that I clamped on the side right there that the return line goes into to catch, catch chips. So that way they don't get sucked up by the pump because it's just a little plastic low pressure impeller but I wanted to show you how this works I got this tool holder and I'll get the brand here as you can see so this is the brand I bought this on Amazon it was like $70 So this is the cutter, it was $269. But you know, when you look at how much time it saves you, it's a no brainer. Um, so, so that's the circulating coolant. But now, so the, the cutter itself, the, the cutter itself has a, what do they call it, a pilot pin? It's hard to see. like this it has a pilot pin and if you press it it's it's spring loaded and so if you press it in you will actually get coolant coming out um, I don't know if you can see that there we go now coolant is is coming out of there too but when it comes all the way out, it doesn't actually come through there. And there's like a, a spring inside of here. And then I'll, I'll turn on the machine. Well, you, you saw it running. Um, I had to add this piece here 
around the quill, I bent the metal because this arm it was supposed to hit up here and it was bending and I was worried that this thing was gonna like flip around and take off on me and twist up my tubes and wreck my day. So I added this extra thing and the tube routing and all that is my own contraption and I got the magnet and the indicator holders right there. So this is this is my setup. Okay, I got everything on here. I got two clamps, I got two pins and a, a three actually. So I crowded this into the corner and then I set these bars on here to keep the oil uh, on the table because I have the a drain going down into my uh, circulating my coolant and uh, if it runs off the table then it ends up on the floor it doesn't it doesn't make it in there so that's my coolant flow so I got oil on the inside of the cutter and the outside <clears throat> I looked up ease and speeds I'm running at about uh, 100 and five RPMs and I was power feeding it at 3000s per revolution but I uh, felt more comfortable just doing it by hand. So here we go. And, uh, just pulling, this thing cuts fast. This thing just eats like butter. I think this is faster than what you could do with CNC on a, you know, if, it, if it's not a hundred horsepower machine. This is, this is quick compared to any other options. <clears throat> this has got to be the fastest. Try to keep a constant down feed pressure. It helps the cutter if it keeps eating material and you're not like just basically skidding on the surface with no feed pressure. So the slug is still on there. I'll pull it off here. <clears throat> okay. Clear all of this. Now there's a hole in the end of my glove. This is uh, cut. Turn off the cutting fluid. This. This cutting fluid is, uh, it's, it's pipe, it's called, uh, it's called clear cutting oil. I got this at Menards, um, but it's, uh, it doesn't have some of the chemicals in it that other oils do. And I think it's a little more intended to be, it's more intended to be used for people that are working with their hands directly on the material. Because, I mean, this is, I'll probably spend as much time cleaning up as I spent, I'll spend as much time cleaning up as I spent uh, drilling these holes. This is just, uh, just quite the mess here. <clears throat> okay. These are my little uh, 
oil deflectors here that uh, trying to keep the oil on the table. Try to save the oil I can. I have a little metal mesh filter that the return line is going through back to the pump. Okay, now, see, look at this slug. And this is, uh, I don't know, it's a three inch outside. It's probably like, I don't know what it is, two and three quarters or two and five eighths OD. So I got a, a nice healthy chunk of material that I can use for something else too. Um, and it's a nice, nice finish. It's warm, but uh, <clears throat> you know, it just cuts really great. This is just, just an outstanding way to make a hole. 